Yeah, we're about to go live. Right. Hey, you ain't slow down. Act like you got them skate. 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 Go live. I'm finna go live. 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 We back, y'all. We got another one. Derek LeBlanc in the building, man. Big time defensive end. Let me know everything looks good. Sounds good. I haven't changed a thing. Somebody said I'm about to unsubscribe. Why are you about to unsubscribe, Scott? Come on, man. It's free. How you going to get something free and then take it back? Huh? How you going to get something free and then take it back? Come on, Scott. Don't do your boy like that. Golly. All right, Ellen. Appreciate you, man. Everything looks good. Sounds good. We good to go. Tell me why you're going to unsubscribe. Let's do some customer service, Scott. We're trying to get to 25K, and you ain't helping out the goal, dog. You ain't helping out the goal. We're trying to get to a goal of 25,000 subscribers, man. Anyway, Derek LeBlanc, four-star defensive end in the building, or defensive lineman, rather. He's down to three schools. It is Florida, Penn State, or Oklahoma. All right? Let me know real quick. Somebody let me know where this young man is going to go. What his Instagram page is, because it's killing me, dog. All right? It's killing me. So somebody let me know where the young man is going to go, what his Instagram page is, and all that other foolishness. These kids got all type of stuff going on. All right? Let me see here. I don't even know if he going live on Instagram. I don't even know if he got an Instagram. But we're going to find out today. Anyway, I'm going to open up the phone line. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's what. Let's see if we can find this cat Instagram. He don't have a get right, Derek. All right, here we go. Gee whiz. Let's see what he got going on. I am him. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well, I got his Instagram up. So we ready to rock and roll whenever he ready to rock and roll. And we could definitely make it happen. So. Anyway, I found it. Get right, Derek. He better get right. Coach going to get left right here with his left hand. Anyway, phone line is open, 321-328-8235. Call in about this young man. I want to hear from the Florida fans. It's a lot of them here in Florida. Hmm? I want to hear from the Oklahoma fans. Where you at, Boomer Sooners? And I want to hear from we are Penn State. Come on, man. Come on. Y'all got a brand new – come on. There you go. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. I met John. I keep saying Joe. Come on, Joe. I met John Bear. I don't call in, bro. I would love to hear from you. Be great. His Instagram is 55 problems. You stop it right now. Stop trying to be funny. That was the last dude, man. Oh, now y'all don't want to call in. Y'all like your phone broken. Huh? 191 in the building right now. It should be 12,000 people in here, especially all these Florida fans, all these Penn State fans, all of these Oklahoma fans. In the building. I've also done this WRE tape. Let me tell you something. This dude can play. He can go. Let me start it back a little bit. So he can play, man. All right. He's got excellent hands. He does a good job with his feet. <clears throat> My graphic look all bad. Coach over here struggling. Jesus Christ. There we go. How, do, how about that? How that look? Get up there and stop moving. All right. Here we go. No, nobody want to call in. 321-328. Maybe if I put the phone number up there. 321-328-8235. Go ahead and give us a call. <laughs> Somebody say UF is an Ivy League school. <clears throat> they be acting like it, but it's hard to get in there. I have to tell you that unless you play ball. Unless you can run fast, shoot a ball, or jump high. You ain't getting into Florida like that. I can tell you that much. It is tough to get into. A63 Kane in the building. Big shout out to A63 Kane. was our last year uh, college fantasy football winner. Uh, come August, we'll be starting to promote our college fantasy football league. It is legit. You come in, we have a draft and everything for college college football, and we're only doing the Power 5 schools. So I'm going to be trying to cheat with the quarterback from Liberty. It ain't going to happen. All right? Call or talk What's to up, us. Give us your name. Where are you calling from? I'm making it, man. I'm making it. I'm here in Alabama, man. What's up with you, baby? Nothing much. Like I say, believe that. Don't be talking down on our gators now. Don't do that on us. Come on now. I didn't talk down. I just simply said, where y'all at? 
I need y'all to call in because on Twitter, everybody, hey, everybody a cyber thug on Twitter. They they be typing in all caps and everything. Yeah, I was talking about we, you got to be an Ivy League to VA to be in Florida. I know we got that. It's no big deal. But how you doing anyway? You I'm good, man. Weather. You know that, right? I appreciate it, man. I try, I try to make it great as I possibly can. I try to be flawless even, for you guys, even man. Even though you're a Miami Hurricane fan, I got love for you. How about that? I appreciate that, man. I thank you. And I got love for you too, man. We're going to always talk a little Absolutely. trash, but at the end of the day, we're going to have Absolutely. a good time. Absolutely. Like I say, believe not, Mr. Christopher, I got to say, he's been doing a great thing. He, he's been recruiting like a, like a, like a beast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And somebody I, just I said, possible, possible. I appreciate it. And somebody said Coach V recruiting Absolutely. Florida hard too. So what's up with Coach V? What are you going to yeah, do? Absolutely. What are you going to do? He's going to get this recruit. We fin we finna we finna we finna, we finna come up, you know that. We'll be in the um maybe top top fifteen, maybe thirteen. So you hold on, so, so you a Florida fan, right? Yes, sir. Florida gate all day, every day. Okay, all right. All right, so you're a Florida fan. Okay, so by you being a Florida fan, uh huh. What do you think about the recruiting for Billy Napier right now? Because, you know, everybody, you know, making little jokes and mean about putting him in a locker. And he wrote this open letter to the fan base and all that stuff. What's your thoughts on him right now? He's doing a great job. You got to understand. He is. He went from. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he went from 60, 60 or 50 rank. He had a miss. I mean, what do you expect? You don't expect him to have a top five five recruit players. Uh-huh. People, people, people have, Florida fans are having high expectations, and I understand, but we have to give him a little time. Okay. We have to. I mean, that's just that's just it. I mean, like I say, believe me, I, I mean, he's done a great job for us recruiting. If he can halfway coach as well as, well as he recruits, we're going to have mm -hmm. some. Well, we're going to find I mean, out he's been doing real great. quick. He's been doing great. He's been doing a great job. He's the nutrition is better. The 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 the, the, the um like I say, y'all 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 getting y'all stuff together in Miami. But like I say, we we already getting close. You know what I mean? I love it. Quan Lee, call That's in, okay. boy. That's okay, man. But God bless you, my brother. Like I say, go Gators. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the love. No All right. All right, good call, man. Coaching here fired up right now. Y'all go ahead and call in. And uh, let's make it happen, man. Why the phone line? 239 people in the building. It should be 235, 39 phone calls going off right now. Let's go. Let's turn this thing up. Let me just tell you, since nobody calling, I'll tell you about him. He is a big guy. He's tall. He is explosive, right? Um, I, I have to say this. I don't even know about maybe his suddenness so far as change of direction quickly, but his hands are very good. He does a good job with his hands. He does a good job not just placing them on people, but initiating the contact and disengage. I'm talking about the D-line coach at Osceola, and I forgot his name. Uh, John Walker actually said it on the show. Uh, but shout out to him, man, from coach to coach, man. Hey, boy, you're doing a hell of a job with them guys when it comes to that stuff. But um, uh, like I say, when it comes to this young man, he's explosive. He, play, he has a tendency to play just a little bit high just because uh, – I think it's just a habit to try to look to see what's going on in the backfield instead of feeling your way based on the kind of blocks you get. But that's easy fix. That takes no time to fix. Carla, talk to us. Give us your name where you're calling from. 405 area code. This training from Oklahoma, baby. Boomer Sooner in the building. All right, Boomer Sooners, I hear you, dog. What y'all going to do over there in the palace? Isn't that what they call it, the palace? Hey, know we, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run stuff right now. We're picking up him tonight. Guarantee you that. So in eighteen yeah, minutes, so in eighteen here. minutes, y'all got him. We got him. All right. Yeah, so talk to him. me. What do you he like dog. about him? So so what do you like about man? Him? The dude is a dog. He 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 comes back with the old defense that Oklahoma used to have. You remember those days? <laughs> nah, dude. Nah, nah, that was good. That was good. So let me ask you this too about Brett Coach V. Being a longtime defensive coordinator, he was. Um, had stated that he had did not really want to be a head coach at one time. I guess something changed his mind and he decided to go ahead and, and jump ship out of Clemson and go do that. 
What do you think? What What is your prediction for Oklahoma this season? I see OU going about. I I see us losing maybe one game, maybe Baylor. That'd be our, that'd probably be our toughest game. Baylor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If that's y'all toughest game, you don't think y'all might? You don't think Texas might be a tough game for y'all? Oh, we're going to run through Texas. Horns down. Boy, hey, you got to call me, man. When y'all play Texas? Isn't that like y'all rivalry week game or something like that? Yeah, we're going we gonna to run through them. I'm going to be down there. Okay. I'm there every year. I love it. I love it, though. We're going to find out, man. We're going to sooner in the building, baby. I love it, man. Appreciate you, man. Hey, Coach, you're doing a good job, man. Keep up the hard work. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. All right, so we've had a Florida fan call in, a Boomer Sooner call in. I need a Penn State Nittany Lion to call in. I need somebody to represent for James Franklin around here, man. That man been putting in some work. What a Manny Diaz lover is that? I need a Manny Diaz lover in the building. Huh? Yo. Call, call to talk to us, 405 Area Code. What's up, coaches? Big John out here in the land of the red dirt, baby. I heard. Oh, what's up with you, man? Not too much, baby. How you been, man? I'm good. I'm good. Now, this John always, a.k.a. John, right? Yes, sir. Uh, this is your first time calling in, right? Yes, sir. You know, I had to call you, man. You know, I've been following you, man. I, I appreciate what you do. Uh, I, 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 man, I just got much respect for, for what you got going on down there, man, how you do your thing. I really appreciate that, man. It means a lot. And you've been following me for a long time, and you've been following this channel for a long time. What's your thoughts? And you always show love to regardless but you definitely show love to your oklahoma boomer sooners what's your thoughts on this young man as well as the program going forward with the with new coach coach brent venables well man uh coach v man you know he's he, he's he's an original sooner man you know he won a championship with us here and two at clemson man always had top defenses our defense didn't fall off and he left and now that he's back we're gonna be sustaining the same old offensive firepower that we've been doing and we're going to have some stank on it on that defense. As mm. far as this young man goes, you know what side the bread is buttered on, man. You know, he coming to the land of the red dirt player. <laughs> well, if you fall down, it's staying your clothes. That's what you, that's the red dirt? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All day. I and love go, and You know, we come to the SEC, so, you know, there's 14 new backyards to plant flags in, baby. You know how we do. 14 new backyards to plant flags in. God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me, yeah, we coming. They done, they done messed up, man. They done let some straight up control freak win freak into their uh party, man. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna ask you one question. I'm gonna ask you one question. Do you think Coach V? I'm gonna call him Coach V. I heard people call him Coach V. Do you think Coach uh -huh. V will be the same animated dude he was as a head as as a DC? That's, that's who he is, man. It's in his DNA. He's been like this since he was playing college ball. <laughs> I love it. I love where college football is going, and I'm excited. So I can't wait, man. I yeah, can't man. wait. And then, and then he brought in Coach Levy, who's also an original sooner, went to school with Adrian Peterson then, started okay. coaching at OU. You know what I'm saying? His offenses have ranked uh, higher and just as high as, as Stinking Riley's sellout ass. I'm glad he sold out. <laughs> yeah, uh, he helps us upgrade and bring the real sooners in here. No more uh, Texas Tech style football with no defense. So hold up, man. You call him Stinking Riley? <laughs> yes, sir. He beat John. the hand and fed him, man. John. He, all, that, all that all offense and no defense, Texas Tech football, man. He was recruiting at SC for SC while he was coaching us. Hey. Put your chin out about six inches from your phone. You ready? Call that man stinking. Stinking Riley. You know, we call him we call him Tebow out here. That means to be out west. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Listen, brother, as always, I'm going to get some more of these calls in, man. Thank you, man. Love you. I appreciate you, man, for always supporting. You've been in a long time, man. I wanted to ask you, what's up with that Bass Reeves? Is that Bass Reeves, right? That I'll be seeing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Straight out of All Oklahoma, right. baby. So that's why you have it up there. That's a okay, okay. He was a bad boy. Yeah, the, the real Long Ranger. It wasn't who was that masked man. It was who was that black man. 
Because <laughs> he was he was arresting people, man. Show him up. Yeah, he was the long he was the real long ranger. They they stole all his exploits and gave it to the other dude. That's why he wore the black mask to help him tell the lie. Oh and he wow. Worked with, he worked he worked with one guy. And he, uh, his time told worked for the five civilized tribe tribal police. Oh, you all on it, brother. And so he yes, also sir. was represented in that movie with uh with, with Regina King and so forth. He was I forgot the name of the movie. Um Yeah, in that clip. Uh-huh. That's you right. know what I'm talking about? The movie with Regina King. He was represented in the as well. So when I saw that movie, yes, I sir. thought of you. I really thought of you. I was yes, like, sir. man, my man. But man, I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Let me get these last couple of calls for they for you commit at 10. I'm already on his Instagram. I'm stalking his page and everything else. Right on, brother. Keep up the right. work, my man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. All right, now. Bye now. All right, we got another. But the Oklahoma people ain't playing. They done called in for another 405 in the building. Y'all don't hang up on me. Don't hang up on me, 405. And he hung up on me. Don't hang up on me, 405. Don't hang up on me. But anyway, Lincoln Criley. Oh, my God, boy. Y'all tough out here, boy. But anyway, I seen somebody say Trap House. Where he at? There you go. Trap House booming. Call in, man. Trap House. What do you say? Trap House booming. I see you got a well, a, 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 a YouTube page. Y'all go check it out. Um, You got a YouTube page about Oklahoma, man. Y'all go over there and check out the Trap House, man. But uh, anyway, this might be him right here. Let's see here. Call to talk to us. Give us your name. Where you calling from? Uh, my name is Ziggy, calling from Oklahoma. Jiggy? Ziggy. Oh, Ziggy. All right, Ziggy, talk to me, yeah, man. What's your thoughts? Th what's your thoughts about Oklahoma and right. this young man? Well, I bleed crimson and cream. I'm going to tell you that I believe this man is going to come to Oklahoma. Okay. Why? Well, I believe that uh, he – I think he's a smart cat. And I think that he wants to be coached by the best. And I think that he knows Bates is going to be that man. All right. So what do you like about oh, Derek maybe. LeBlanc? Oh, well, I, I think, you know, I watched that uh, uh, WRE you did on him. And I agree with you that he needed to keep his head down a little bit more. I like his strength. I like his speed. Um, mm -hmm. I think he's got the intelligence, football intelligence. Uh, but I want to keep it real with you about the season coming up. I think Nebraska is our trap game. I mm. think if we can get past Nebraska, then we're going to be set up for Texas. I think last year, Texas-Oklahoma game was a lot like that Texas Tech game years ago with Baker and and uh, uh, Mahomes. So this year, it's going to be different with Venables in there. He's going to keep that keep it in control. Mm -hmm. And yes, he's going to be he's going to be just as animated on the sidelines as he always has been. I believe so. All right, well, we're going to find I'm out. But sure appreciate you. Thank you, Ziggy, man. I appreciate you, man, for following. Like I said, we're on our road to 25,000 before the first football is kicked off this season. We got to have 25,000. All right, so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I always do. Thank you, man. You keep it real. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right, big shout-out to Ziggy, man, coming Ooh. from Oklahoma in the building. All right, we got a 239 right. area code. Talk to us. What's going on? It's T. Gray from Montgomery, Alabama. T. Gray, talk to me, man. You back, baby? What's up? What's going on, man? Just hope, hope we get a uh, pull one out today. Hope to hope this kid goes to Florida. I'm a Gator fan. Okay, so we got. I'm still waiting on these Penn State people. What are these Nittany Lions at, man? You know what I mean. But anyway, they're um, real quiet. Real quiet. Yeah, they real quiet, man. You know, like I say. They should be happy. They got Manny Diaz as a defensive coordinator. They got, um, you know, they got. You know, I had to hit the crickets on that foolishness. I just said, but anyway, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm just saying, man, I'm just just teasing. But no, seriously, man, like I say, um, why, why do you think he may come to Florida over Oklahoma when he's kind of been crystal ball to Oklahoma? Well, I mean, Oklahoma is a solid program. It's unproven, just like, you know, Napier going into his first year. Uh, but I think Florida is uh, picking up a bit of bit of momentum. So I, I think he's um, 
has t- taken a serious look at him. I think he can bring something to the program. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I think we're going to get him. All right, here's my last question. Do you think Billy Napier has been put in a locker during this recruiting cycle, or do you think that's just talk? I think it's just talk, man. I mean, uh, Florida, listen, Gator fans are some of the greatest um, fans in the world and some of the spoilest fans in the world. Okay. We, you know, we we expect, uh, you know, we expect 12 win, 11 win seasons every year, regardless of who the coach is. Um, but, you know, Naples just going to give him a little time, get his momentum, get his players in. I think we'll be all right. All right. I love it, man. Let me see here. I'm about five minutes out from this deal. Oh, he live right now. So we're going to go live over here. So hold your calls, guys. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, we a hey, coach would have had this thing lit. Wouldn't have been no sitting on no couch. Coach would have had this lit. <laughs> Well, uh, I appreciate everybody that came today. I like to thank everybody that came out. Uh, first off, I like to give special thanks to God for guiding me in this decision. Secondly, I give like give special thanks to my parents for uh, be always being there for me and everything. I like a whole. I like give a special, special thanks to the whole Osceola football staff for uh, helping me understand and embrace the grind and help me be a better man on and off the field. I like give special thanks to our friends and shout out to the guys out there. Uh, I like to, and I like that everybody that helped me guide through this decision and I prayed about this and everything. So I'm gonna just tell y'all what I want, which I came here for. I'll be further in my athletic and academic career at the University of Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Oklahoma, y'all. Oh. Norman, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, headed to the Palace on the Prairie. That was quick. Don't say anything else, brother. Guess not. Some questions? Yeah, yeah, I'll take questions. Why Oklahoma? I mean, maybe because uh, I knew I knew the staff since I was like in eighth grade, and I was really going to commit to them when I was, when they were at Clemson. So I think it was just the best decision for me to make. And when you let them know your decision, what was their reaction? They started screaming. <laughs> <laughs> they started screaming. On the flip side, you have these other two coaching staffs. Have you already informed them of your decision? Uh, yes, sir, I did. I told them. Uh, Florida was the hardest for me. So, I mean, and what was their reaction? You got up there about eight, nine, ten times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, you were running up there. Um, yeah. What was their reaction? I mean, they just told me it's all love, but they said it's not over. That's what they kept saying. <laughs> That's what they kept saying. So, obviously, you, you visited Oklahoma several times, about four or five times, I think, yeah. right? Uh, 
after you were heading up the Clemson before uh, Coach Gates had moved to Oklahoma, and then you, you switched your, your your trip. When you went up there the first time in January, did you kind of get a sense then that maybe that was a really good spot? Did, or, or was it the relationship with Coach Bates that kind of moved away from the it was the relationship with Coach Bates. I think that was the main thing, the main factor. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and y'all put them boys on Coach A's commitment show. Stop playing. I'm going to have that thing lit. Can you recruit me, bro? Behind the scenes? Oh, no, not yet. No, yeah. crazy. Not yet. Who, who, do you want, who do you want to join you? David Hicks. David Hicks. Yeah, I want to hit you. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. Appreciate it, y'all. What's this? Swing you. That's about 800 ball. Congratulations. Appreciate it. He showed you wow. All right. <laughs> Let's get him off here. Great job. All right. Great job by him, man. Let me open this back up. Y'all be killing me. Y'all still be trying to call the phones and stuff. All right. Man, that boy went to Oklahoma, like you said. Crystal ball was right. The crystal ball was right. So what does that mean? He in the red dirt, John. He in the red dirt, John. What's <laughs> up with you, baby? What's going to happen? All right. So we got to find out, man. Let me cut this down. I know I had to cut it up. I'm sorry. I'm probably screaming at y'all right now. I apologize. Uh, and Jakeem Jackson, I didn't have time. I just don't have time to do his commitment. So we got to find out what's going on. I think Kinsler is supposed to try to commit sometime here soon. I don't know. We'll take a few phone calls. and. Uh, We'll go from there. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if we can open up these phone lines right quick, man. Day been a day. What a day. What a day. In the words of Erica Badu. All right, 321-328-8235. Go ahead and give us a call. Let's hear about this. I would love to hear from the Red Dirt guys. Penn State is pretty much out of it. They don't want to talk, so we find somebody else to talk. All right? Let me see if I can go ahead and put his, his uh, school up here. All right, he gets picks Oklahoma as his school in order to go to and play for Coach Brett Venerables at Oklahoma. Wow. Here we go. 504 area code. Call or talk to us. Call or talk to us. Oh, Give us your name. What you call it? What's going on, Coach? What's going on, Coach Trap? How? Booming. Did yes, I say sir. it right? Tell me you can feel that. Tell me you feel that disturbance in the force. Some boys out the palace making power moves, aren't they? Yeah, dog. I don't want to mess up your vibe because I don't know what to say. But yeah, go for it. Trap house. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. Ty Bates just working magic out there on the trail, man. Him and Coach Venables, Drew Hill, the whole staff. Man, it's, it's just a great resurrection feeling, man. I, and it's feeling like Easter out here in Norman, man. It's feeling like Easter. But I got a t I got a little tidbit for you, Coach. Do you Talk know to me. Coach, you ever heard of Coach Curtis Jackson? He coached at the U for a while. Yeah, Why receiver coach. coach. Yeah, played for the Simon, went to the oh, Saints. Yeah. Well, I'm, coach I'm at the Saints. Too, man, that's my big homie. That's my big homie right there, man. My grandmother was a big influence in his life, and he too influenced my life. So don't ever think I'm giving out some Kane's hate because he made his bones out there at the U. Nah, I never that. Listen, but I got a question. You got a little New Orleans vibe in your voice. So it sounds like you may have went to Tulane. Oh, uh, yeah. I got uh, my grandmother's actually from New Orleans. My grandmother and my wife, to be exact. She's Creole. Okay. So no, nah, the reason I said it because I know because I know he was there. Yeah, because the reason I said I know CJ was out there at uh, he, he was at the head coach at Tulane for a minute. Oh yes, with uh Frank Monica, he was a big a big time high school coach in Louisiana. He's another one of my mentors. He got mm -hmm. to really helped guide me when I was lost in the sauce in these streets and stuff and whatnot. Gotcha. Yeah, and I just you know I, you know I love the show, man. You know I couldn't I couldn't call in until I knew it was official. And now I'm feeling good, man. Just a great day to be a Sooner, man. Great. I love it. I love it. Now tell the people because I ran across your channel. I remember when you called in that day. 
And then I end up running across knowing that you have a YouTube channel, man. So let the people know where they can find you, where they can find the trap in the trap house. Come on in the kitchen. We always cooking in the trap, baby. Trap house booming on your local YouTube station, baby. Tap in. It's all love, baby. Trap house. Love the show, coach. I love it. They got to get you to start doing these uh these commitment announcements because, like you said, you would have it lit. Come on, you see, I, come on. I, I, you know, I ain't gonna knock on the man parade, but you ain't gonna have no phone propped up against no dog on dictionary. Yeah, man. We gonna have that thing <laughs> lit. We gonna call that thing Not Coach that, that, Hayes' that. house. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Love you, brother. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You too, man. Appreciate it, bro. No doubt. All right. All right, man. I'm gonna check out my man Trav Highs. I, I just ran across his channel since he called in, like maybe two or three days ago, man. Interesting stuff on there, tell stories and all kind of stuff. Good editing, all that stuff, man. So it's pretty good, man. Big trap. I see a lot of people know, recognize him, especially you Oklahoma fans. So you guys recognize who he is. So, like I always say, tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend. All right. Anyway, take a couple more calls and coach gonna get out of here and try and enjoy my night. I gotta finish editing this Kinsler video that I hope to God he go to Miami. Because I already made it as if he went to Miami. If not, I got to change everything about it. So <laughs> I basically got to redo it. All right, let me see. 504 area code. I know about them 504 boys. Huh? I say them 504 boys. Huh? Talk to me. Yes, sir. What's up, Doc? What's going on with you, man? Who are you a fan of? Oklahoma, I would assume. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a sooner born and bred, baby. All right. So talk to me. Are you excited about this young man who committed? I am excited, but just to hit on a few things, and I won't waste no more time. I tell you, this uh, I can tell you, I was mad as heck when Lincoln Riley left. Uh, mm -hmm. Didn't like the way he went about it. There's some things I found out after he left. I mean, the man won 55 games in five years, so I was happy. Um, but when he left, I got upset that he left the way he did. That being said, with Venables uh, in line now, every and a lot of people have Oklahoma. Um, not doing too well this year. Some people think they could win the Big 12. Some people think some people put them at fourth or fifth in Big 12, which seems crazy to me. But I mean, they got they still got a 71% blue chip ratio. One of the best defensive coaches in the last 15, 20 years is running the show. Todd mm -hmm. Bates. I mean, you got guys on that staff who've been head coaches, numerous. Um, they just know what they're doing, man. They know how to they know how to recruit. Uh, it's family first. It's God first. Um, they've got how many national titles between them? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I just, I just don't – I don't see any way this stops, even going to the SEC. I, I, I'm more excited now than I was when they announced it because I think we'll actually be ready because you ain't doing nothing without the big uglies, and that's what Ben Wilson Bates are going to get. Well, we're going to find out real quick. We're going to find out real yes, quick, sir. man. All boomer, right. boomer, boomer. All right, man. I appreciate you for calling in. We got a 601 calling in. I think I know where this is. I appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Tell Mississippi they, they need to get west, man. It's from the SIP, though. All right. Call and talk to us. Calling all the way from the SIP. What's up all with right, you? man. I appreciate you calling in. We got a 601. Hey, uh, Coach Hayes. Um, I just want to know, like, why why do y'all want Kansler? I mean, he's a very good player, and I'm sure he's underrated, but all he's going to do is bring your player average down, you know, well, because he's like a, he's like a low three-star, but he's rising. So here's the deal, so I was, right? I was, I'm good. I'm sorry. Finish your question. Go ahead. I was just wondering why why, why, why y'all want to take a player that – because I know we got a player in Tyree Patterson. He's bringing our average down. There's been some talk of him decommitting car wide receivers class. is going to be up there a little bit. So I just wanted to know. All right. So based on the film, when I broke his film down, <clears throat> excuse me, the young man can play. At the end of the day, you have to understand this. I mean, what's your name again? I'm sorry. What's your name? Mark. Mark. All right, Mark. The reason why is that average player stuff, that's good for fans, right? And I have to just, I'm just calling what it is. That is a marketing tool. The number one recruiting class is a marketing tool. All of that stuff is great. At the end of the day, we're looking for play. The staffs are looking for players. They don't care about technically, be honest with you, they don't truly care how 247 rivals, whoever, whoever, whoever ranks them. Is based on their evaluation. Now, I'm going to say this from yeah. the coach's perspective. They, this kid can play. He's 6'6", 330 pounds, has good feet. He's strong. He's aggressive. And he's working. Now, he went to a smaller school like Trinity Catholic, right? And it's in Ocala. Mm -hmm. So, it may not be a well-known school. And like I said earlier in the other shows, he may not be a big camper. 
He didn't go to all the rivals camp and the top 50 camp and the IMG camp. So he may not be seen by a lot of guys. Um, so some kids just can't, some kids just can't afford that. That's probably why they can't go. That's correct. Um, but, but also I wanted to, I understand that. I know because, uh, if they're, if you evaluate a player and he's good and you think he's good, nobody really cares about the average rating. I just wanted to ask you that, but, um, also, I'm a Florida fan, and I really, I really do think our recruiting class is going to finish really, really well. I mean, we could get somewhere around six guys this weekend because we got Mazel, Castell, and Jakeem committing tonight, which seems like Jakeem's a lot. Mazel um, tomorrow, so yeah, Friday. To, Mazel will be tomorrow. I'll be doing that one right here on the channel as well. Yes, yeah, sir. And then, uh, okay, so we got six guys, but. See, let's backtrack a little bit because a lot of Florida, a lot of Florida fans are throwing shade at Billy Napier because you know Miami went on that really good run back in like like early, early July, July. Mm -hmm. and and they kind of slowed down a bit, but yeah, they got Malik Bryan, but it's not like as as good as it once was. But that's because you know they ain't, they ain't got much target. But I don't think Miami and Florida is going to be battling out a lot more recruits because Miami and Florida are doing their separate recruiting battles right now because. Florida's in on a lot of guys that doesn't involve Miami, and Miami's in on a lot of guys that doesn't involve Florida. So I don't think it it will really look like that. But um, anyway, I think Billy Napier and the staff really responded well because they could have just, you know, left it alone. We could have had, like, maybe a top 25 class. But maybe now we can finish, like, with a top 10 class. Well, we're going to find out. It's not going to take long because – we literally just over a month from the season starting, right? So we'll find out. Yes, That's not the end of recruiting, of course, but we have to December early sign a day, and then there'll be some guys who are top-notch players won't sign until February. So we'll definitely find out what's going to happen, but it'll all be shaped up right around December. Yes, sir. I, I, I just want to talk a little bit. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for calling, man. Appreciate you. Have a good day, Coach A. Yes, sir. Hey, see you tomorrow, man, for the Mizell. Oh, I'll be there. All right, buddy. Hey, he he a gator, bro. There ain't no way he not he's a gator legacy. We gotta lock him up. Plus, he's training to be a five star soon, so who knows? He's training to he's be a five star. Out. I love it. <laughs> I so love like it. A, he's like seventieth right now, but he's rising definitely. He he like was one fortieth something like a couple of weeks ago. Okay, I like so. it, man. And uh, uh, Andrew Ivans compared him to like Jamar Chase, like that type of like that type of player. So I think he'll be really good in college. I, I think he'll be, I think he'll do extremely fine. I don't, Jamar Chase now, bad boy. So are we going to see, we going to see. All right, man. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Thanks, Mark. All right. Bye now. You are. All right. Good call, man. I'll take a, I'll take a couple more. I'll do about eight minutes left, man. I got to get up out of here. I got stuff to do, man. Coach got to work, man. I got to finish editing this kid video. Uh, anyway, Jakeem Jackson, uh, I believe that's the corner that they have at Osceola, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't have a chance to get this stuff situated, so I'll just I have to catch it on Twitter, man. Um, it's so many recruits. Everybody's recruiting and throwing it out. And to be honest with you, man, it's a one-man band, so I'm trying to keep up with it, keep it rocking and rolling. Like I say, it takes time to do these kind of graphics, like with him standing up there with his arms crossed, with the little shadow and the, the logos and the, the thumbnails. And Man, shoot, y'all don't know, boy. Y'all don't have half a clue. That's why I get so pissed when that thing didn't work out. All right, 618 area code. Call or talk to us. Hey, uh, uh, OU fan out in Wyoming. Just wanted to thank all the Florida high school coaches for uh, helping this OU recruiting class out this year. <laughs> all right. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or if you're being sincere, but I'll take it either way. All right. All right. Have a good night. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate him calling all the way from Wyoming, Oklahoma, Boomer Sooner, all the way from Wyoming. All right. You have to hang up, but it is what it is. All right. Anybody else? He said, my show, Jaquim. No, I don't have his stuff prepared. I guess I can throw it on here too, man. I don't know. What time is he supposed to commit? I can't. What time? If y'all tell me what time he's supposed to commit, I'll throw it up here on the screen. Hey, who cares? Let's do it. It won't be his information. I don't have all this stuff. It'll be, it'll be this young man stuff up here. Somebody said seven seven thirty. Is he doing it on Instagram? Oh my God, y'all pushing it. I'm gonna have to split this up. What I may do is cut this off and start a new live. 
I'm gonna cut this. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna start a new live and just try to make it special. So let me go in and get off of here. Let's start a new live and we'll make it happen. What's his name? Jaquim, what? Jaquim, uh, y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. Man, y'all working the heck out of coach, man. Coach, look, hey, if y'all don't get the 25,000, coach, love y'all, man. Anyway, look at this. Come on, coach, for, for us. All right, I got you just for y'all. Jakeem Jackson. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Five minutes. Peace.